Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Uh, whew, what is what happened this weekend that just ended in Hawaii, and the decision that they're looking to make today will blow your mind. Stay tuned and watch this. Hey everybody, before I get going, if you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. This is where you're going to get all the information on the Second Amendment, no matter where it happens. Good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. And today, we're talking about bad and very ugly. The chief of the Honolulu Police Department had a news conference on Thursday. And she detailed the martial law that she put everybody under for the entire weekend. That ended this morning at 0500 hours Honolulu time, actually. It's not even that time right now, so they're still under martial law as I'm recording this at 9 a.m. here in the Eastern Seaboard. So you know what? Yeah, watch this. It's about three minutes long. You can hear it right from the horse's mouth. Aloha. You know, before I get started, I just want to remind everybody, you know, just think about why we're doing what we're doing. We're doing this so that we can get out of this situation as quickly as possible and everyone can get back to their normal lives. It's, that is the only reason, that's the goal in mind. And you know, what we're seeing out there is the majority of people are listening and doing what they need to do, but there are a few who continue to not follow the rules and not do what needs to be done for all of us to get out of here, um, you know, so that we can move on with our lives and get back to some, to uh, you know, some type of normalcy. So, what I just want to let people know is that um, obviously uh, Ch uh, Chief uh, McCarthy said the other day uh, HPD is going to be out there even more so now uh, doing stricter enforcement out on the roads for uh, everything, not just traffic, but also we're going to be looking at people who are out for, you know, maybe violating the stay at home order. We're also going to be taking a look at, we're going to have a lot more stricter enforcement out at the beach parks. You're going to see a lot more officers out there at the beach parks. So if the parks are closed, you cannot be in the parks. I do want to make one clarification. So for those folks who are out there running and walking on the beach park or in the, on the sidewalks, that is not allowed. The only place that you can run and walk is below the high water mark. So what does that mean? The easiest thing for me to relate to is if you're running or walking in the water, you're going to be okay. If you're on the sand, you're violating the, the proclamation for the city. And in addition, on top of all that, there will be no vehicles. That includes cars, motorcycles, mopeds, bicycles, tricycles, anything with a wheel will not be allowed on the roadways um, from the hours of 11 p.m. starting Friday night until 0500 on Monday. This is a trial, a test period. It may be extended to the duration and th through April 30th. We'll make that decision probably on Monday sometime. So what does that mean? That means if you're out there, then the officers may stop you. There are some exceptions to this. So for those people who are driving to and from work, for those people who are making deliveries, security vehicles, those who are trying to pick up medication, and also, of course, anybody who needs to go to the hospital or there's an emergency, and of course, you know, any of our first responders. So um, please stay at home. That's all that we're asking you. Thank you. So there you go, the chief of the Honolulu Police Department, whose job it is to uphold the Constitution and fight for the rights of the people they serve, has decided that they're going to become Adolf Hitler or something similar and tell you, you can't come outside, we're going to stop you, we're going to fine you, and maybe even lock you up if you're out. And if you're one of those people who go out jogging, you better stay in that wet sand because six inches further up, uh, away from the, the water, that dry sand, that's illegal, don't touch on it. And we're closing the ocean because we're the government and we own the ocean. Yeah. All right, Chief, you think you're way too friggin' important. Uh, get back to ground zero because you're nobody without the support of the people who you're supposed to be taking care of. Folks, this is why it is so important that we, uh, as individuals, handle our own business. We need to be able to make sure we can take care of ourselves, provide for ourselves, our family, our children, if you have them, uh, take care of our own safety, and to prepare our own selves to be self-sufficient. Yeah, you know, not everybody does that. I have found out during this pandemic that I have 
to do a little more on the preparation side and the prepping. And that's why, hey, look, I'm, if you, I'm not blowing smoke, but if you haven't started or you want to start, check out The Sensible Prepper by Such. Uh, the channel's awesome. I've been like binge watching. Thank you, Such, for your information. Uh, if you don't know what to do, watch him. He'll get you through it. He'll start you. Very simple. Uh, and and it, he's doing it in a way that doesn't make me feel like an idiot for being an idiot, okay? But it's on us. They're individual liberties. It's our rights. It's not the government who gives us our rights, and the government can't freaking take them away. They can't. The government can't close oceans because they don't own them. The government can't tell you this particle of sand is good, but this one you can't touch because it's ours. Bafangul, you guys, uh, you guys need to understand that we are the we the people are the bosses. We've gotten so far away from that. It's time to come back to that. All right. Yes. Are people sick? Yes. Have people died? Yes. Uh, do you have a 98.7% chance of uh, healing and, and recuperating and coming out of it? Yes. The country has been forced into a depression. Uh, people have been forced into unemployment. These are people who are all going to go on the payroll of the government now. It gives the government more power or more perceived power. Oh, and if you haven't heard, uh, in Malibu last week, a single solitary paddleboarder was in the ocean that the government believes that they own and was just paddleboarding. There was nobody around. Extremely social distant. Nobody within, if you look at the video, I'll pump it in in a second, nobody within 100 yards, easily. But the government decided they were going to run him down on a boat and chase him, get him to shore, and lock him up. Why? Because lifeguards closed the beach. Uh-oh, he's screwed. Now he's got this guy. This guy's coming in. Let's see the highway pursuit. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> he cut him off. Throw the throw the tax down. Pop the tires. Oh my god. Spray him with the hose. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sheriff boat. <laughs> really? That's what it's become. Easter, yesterday, numerous places around the country had police shut down Easter services or masses or gatherings where people were coming because of their religion. What happened is unacceptable. Government has gotten way too big. And it's time for us to realize how important our individual liberties are. Now, like I've said in some videos before, I'll never tell you what you can and can't do in this country as long as it's one of your rights. And on the flip side of that coin, you don't get to tell me or anybody else what we can or can't do because it's our rights. They're like tools in a toolbox. Whether you love the Second Amendment or not, it doesn't matter to me because it's my right. Whether you love what you love, I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's not my business. So mind your own business when it comes to what I say here in the Second Amendment, because I'm here to protect it. I'm here to make people know the infringements that are happening left and right, no matter where they are. And I've gotten a lot of concerning comments the last couple of weeks with this COVID-19 stuff that really have me wondering. And I'm sure you guys and gals have read them in, in the, the uh, comment boxes. So let's get our heads out of our asses and remember what the country was founded on, what the rules of the nation are. If you haven't read it, it's called the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. Know it. Uh, and uh, let's stop overreacting about this. A little bit off topic, okay? But when you have a, a, a whole state, Hawaii, that was forced into martial law, can't come outside for the whole weekend, can't drive. If anything has a wheel, we'll stop you and you can't be out. Ha ha ha. Because we have a curfew. And today we're going to decide if we're going to do that for the entire month of April. <laughs> to lock up people who are out on the ocean paddleboarding. Or people who are jogging in dry sand versus wet sand, or people who have gone to church <laughs> to pray, uh, to lock up these people and to break up these things is totally un-American, and we need to check ourselves. We are at a crossroads right now, I think, uh, and it's just not good. It's not looking good. What do you guys and gals think of this? I know it's a little different video than what I usually do, but it's got me really concerned today over what happened over the weekend and what's been happening over the last two weeks. Let me know. Hit me down below. I'd love to hear your conversation pieces uh, because I often go to the comments when I need to clear my head and, and think about stuff. Uh, so this one should be a good one. 
I love you guys with all of my heart. I hope you're all safe. I hope that you are healthy. And I hope that you subscribe to the channel because that's why I'm doing this is to get the news to you. If you'd like to consider uh, supporting the channel because you know we're demonetized so we get nothing and YouTube takes everything, uh, please check out Patreon if you want to help the channel. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, take care everybody.